Hello the boys and girls and welcome back to this brand new Canvas tutorial series. My name is Phil and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make movements to all the circles you created into your for loop dynamically into the circle class here right now. I recommend to watch my first Canvas tutorials to see what I coded and what I made here and to follow this tutorial series. So I created the circles with the for loop. As you can see, I created 10. Um, I will just keep it simple right now with just one single circle. All right, so we want to let the circle move around the canvas right now. And um, yeah, what we need to do first things first, we're gonna create into our circle class, we're gonna create a new method, a new function. And we call this function just update. And what we do is we just update the position, all right? So first things first, we need to say, if we update this, we need to draw a new one. And of course, that's just simple to do with this dot draw. Into our constructor, we're gonna need um, the change value, to the, the pixels that will be changed. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna create a new variable, a new new argument here, and we call it, let's just call it speed, all right? And of course we need to put this, and this dot speed is equal to speed. And the speed will just say, if, if the speed is one, it will change one pixel per second, all right? Simple to do. And of course we can just create this by, let's say, speed of one. Uh, we take one pixel here, but nothing will happen, of course, right now. What we need to change is we need to change two positions, and that's the X position to right or left and the Y position top or down. And let's call this, let's call this um, by this dot dx, the, cha the, the changes in the X position. And let's say just, one times multiply it with this dot speed and this dot dy position equal to one times multiplied with this dot speed all right um of course nothing will happen because in our update function we need to change these positions here right now so we need to say this dot x pos is equal to is plus equal to this dot dx okay so if i save it now nothing will happen um we need to change this for the y position as well and what we need to do then is this dot y pos plus equal this dot dy okay um now we need to call this function. Let's just keep this simple here right now. And we just created one um, one circle here into our array. So for now, we're gonna keep this simple and we do not create the circles here in a for loop. We're just gonna create one single circle. We create this single circle here right now. So let's keep this on the bottom. And we're gonna create the my circle. And what we need to do here is on the create circle function, um, we just need to change this by say my circle dot draw. Um, of course, yeah, we don't need, we need this. We just need this here right now. We can delete this. And here we're gonna draw the circle, my circle dot draw in the context. Yeah, and of course we don't have the random we need this as well and now we can draw our circle randomly and what we need now is we need to create an update function so let's say update circle and this will be a function and uh, we don't need any arguments here um, we just need to say request animation frame and that's a method that always requests another method or another object um, and it will request this very smooth so it will request this 60 times per second so you have 60 fps and it will make your movement really smooth and clear uh, what we call of course is 
this function again and again. So it will update this all the time. Okay, but what we need to change now is we're gonna say my circle dot update. Okay. And for now, nothing will happen because we have to call this function. So we're gonna say update circle. Um, yeah, that's all we need to do. And now as you can see, it will change the X and Y position. And as you can see, you can see a big, 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 big line here. That's really simple to do. We always, if you update this, you don't delete the old one. So you have to delete the old one first, the old circle. And that's really easy to do. You just have to say context.clear rect. And you have to clear the whole canvas from zero, zero, top left to top, uh, to bottom right. And that's easy to do with window.with and window dot window underscore height um, because we declared this variables here in the beginning with window in a height and window in a width. So if we save this, now as you can see our circle is moving around. But now as you can see it will just leave the window here because there is no um, collision detection for the corners. And we're gonna change this really, really quick and fast. It's not hard to do with a simple if loop. Um, what we're gonna say is if this dot x pos is um, of course plus the radius of the circle um, is um, greater than window width, then something will happen. Okay, and what we change is we're gonna say this dot dx is equal to minus this dot dx. So we're gonna just change the position here right now. And we're gonna do this, of course, not only, as you can see it worked here right now, but it will not work at the other corners. So we're gonna change this, so we're gonna copy this. And of course we're gonna say, if this dot position x minus this dot radius is smaller than zero. So it will not hit the left corner here right now again. And we're gonna change this again. And we're gonna change this for the Y position. Is smaller than zero. Yes, it's okay. And we're gonna say this dot dy, this dot dy. And at least we're gonna change this. And we're gonna say this dot y position plus the this dot radius is uh, bigger than window dot h all right and of course we're going to change this here again so now um, it will hit every single corner and it will change the direction here as you can see let's make it a little bit faster with 10 here all right so let's save this and as you can see it works right now there's only one problem here. Um, if we spawn the circle in, yeah, as you can see here, if we spawn the circle uh, here, it's uh, it, it's bugged because we spawn the circle over the window width or height or under zero, and that's a problem here right now. So let's fix this. So let's let's just change this to um, back to um, hard coded variables again. So for example, hundred hundred. And now it always starts here and as you can see it works very well um, it will hit the corners and of course you can um, for example change the circle counter to um, hit counter or something else like that and um, if you call the hit counter and start with zero and you always have a zero here and always if you hit the corner you can say hit counter plus plus for example and let's just copy this here and here and here and now you will see what happened nothing will happen right now um hit counter plus plus yeah because we need to declare the hit counter on the top before the class and now nothing happened again and of course if you update this um you need to say this dot text is equal to hit counter again because we updated and always if it hits a corner it will update the counter here because we need to update this here again with the new hit counter we increase here right now and yet yeah, it's really simple and easy to do i hope you guys like the video in the next part of this
can with the turbo series we're gonna code collision detection and what happens if circles collect it to each other and that's really simple and easy to do and in the next tutorial i'm going to show you more and tutorials i'm going to show you more about the canvas html i hope you guys liked the video please subscribe to my youtube channel and give me a thumbs up if you want to see more see you in the next video bye